Hey, welcome back guys. So this is going to be a travel food type of vlog style video, but I'm just going to preface it with a little bit of additional information before we get into it. In the fall of 2019, Paul and I took a trip to Asia. We went to Taiwan, Singapore, and Vietnam. We had a blast. And I've already posted a bunch of vlogs and kind of food type of videos that in retrospect, I probably should have posted on this channel. If you want to check out those videos, um, those were Thai, I posted a bunch of Taiwan vlogs on my main channel, so you can check those out. But I figured since a lot of my videos were very food centric, they probably would be better suited over on this channel. So this video is gonna be our trip to Singapore and the food that we experienced there. We spent 11 days in Singapore, which might sound like a lot of time in such a small area, but really we wanted uh, to maximize our time there. It was the first time we were there just to experience the food culture there. We had a, like an amazing time. Can't recommend it enough. So yes, Singapore. Definitely a must-go, must-eat place. Check it out. All right, let's just jump right into the vlog. So it's going to be a little bit of travel. It's going to be a little bit, well, majority of it will be food. Morning, guys. We are in Singapore, continuing our 2019 Asia vacation. We left Taiwan. So if you haven't checked out those videos, go check those out. Yeah, we arrived last night. We flew from Kaohsiung direct on Scoot Air to Singapore. So let's go explore Singapore. This is the view from our apartment. We're staying at the Orchard Grand Hotel. And it's a pretty big, pretty big place too. It's Paula. We got a all-in-one washing machine. Washroom in here. The shower is interesting. Of course, microwave and the bedroom. Okay, we're gonna head out and explore. We're gonna hit the visitor center first. Super close to the uh, big shopping district, that's for sure, on Orchard Road. We hit up the visitor center to grab a map, and then the first thing we had to eat in Singapore was a Krispy Kreme donut. They had some really interesting flavors compared to North America. We got the salted egg. It was really pricey for one donut, three bucks. Right. We ate our donuts while waiting out the rain in front of Prada. Wow, did ever just start coming down, thunderstorm. But anyways, Krispy Kreme, salted egg. Does it go? A little odd. Yeah. It tastes a little bit like a salted egg bun. <laughs> the next stop on our food adventures in Singapore was Little India. We checked out the Tekka Center. Cooked food, that's like markets we could go look at. It was a hawker center that sells Indian garments upstairs. And the downstairs has a wet market and food stalls. After looking around a bit, we grabbed some food from one of the food stalls. It was really inexpensive with really generous portions. Also, the best way to describe a hawker center is they are open air food courts with awesome food at really affordable prices. We just happened to be in Singapore during Diwali. So Little India was just a little bit crazy. After exploring Little India and fighting through the crowds on our way back to our hotel, we came across this little gem of a vending machine. Okay, so we came across a automatic freshly squeezed orange juice vending machine. Just, I'm gonna pan because it's just in the middle of nowhere, like just on the street. Very random. It's bizarre. So we yeah. Good. How much is it, Andrew? Two Singaporean dollars. Juices it. Wow, that is a lot of oranges for two dollars. Is that it? It's done? Yeah. Oh no, it's sealing it. Yeah, of course it seals it. 
I wonder. Look at that. That's awesome. And then you got a straw dispenser to your left. Okay. That's, For two bucks, that's not bad. That looks like it's yummy. Uh, they still use straws too. Check this out, made in Italy, just like my previous video for the pizza vending machine in Hiroshima, Japan. All right, another beautiful day in Singapore. We're off to explore Chinatown. Well, there's no shortage of places to go get something good to eat anyway. It's crazy, there's this beautiful garden on the roof of the Buddha Tooth Relic Temple. We're like five stories up in Chinatown, it's really cool. Let's make our way over to Maxwell's Food Center. Maxwell's Hawker Center is one of the more famous hawker centers in Singapore. Our first stop was Tin Tin Hyanese Chicken Rice. It's one of the places Anthony Bourdain ate at, and Gordon Ramsay had a head to head showdown with them as well. There's usually a wait, but we locked out and only had to wait 10 minutes, but it was still pretty hopping. My medium chicken rice. Thank you. We tried out the signature dish, chicken rice. It was only five bucks for a medium serving. Sliced chicken breast on top of garlic rice, served with a side of cucumber and chili sauce. For such a simple dish, it was delicious. The rice was cooked in chicken broth and garlic. The flavor was deep and savory. The chicken breast was silky smooth and delicate cooked perfectly, while the chili sauce is fresh and spicy with a combination of red chilies, ginger, garlic, and lime juice. When I returned to Canada, I actually made this dish back at home and it's so good. It sounds bland, but it's not. It's just really awesome. After eating our chicken rice, we tried out a few more places. This place here served duck, cha siu, and noodles. Each one of these hawker stalls specializes in one type of dish and they do it really well. This bed of noodles and meat was perfect. The noodles soaked up the fattiness of the meat and the barbecue pork had a nice crispy skin with the sauce coating each and every piece. It was sweet and savory. We explored some more of Chinatown before getting some shaved ice from a small shop called Mi Hong Yun Desserts located on Temple Street. The final stop for the afternoon was a well-known dessert place called A Chu. They sold all traditional Chinese desserts, we both got a mango sago pomelo dessert. It was tasty and very refreshing in the hot weather. All right, so today we wandered around Chinatown, had a great day, just checking out the food scene, trying out a dip, few different things. We had the really famous chicken rice at the, the Sin Sin uh, chicken rice hawker stand. But yeah, really great chicken rice super silky chicken, but the uh, rice itself was super flavorful. The broth that she used to flavor it was amazing. It was definitely worth checking out. And then tonight we're gonna eat at a Michelin, no, two-star Michelin restaurant on Orchard Road. It's a Szechuan restaurant. It's this place here, 
besides their famous tofu, we really wanna try this dish here because it's our favorite Szechuan dish. It's chili chicken and it's spicy, it's numbing, it's delicious. That's all, that's the only way you can describe this. All right, way up. And my ears are popping on this elevator. The elevator's fast. Piece of wagyu, mm, so buttery. They look wonderful. All right, dandan noodle. It's quite the lightning show up there too. Mm, solid, very flavorful dandan noodles. Are they the best I ever had? No, but they're really good. Just look at all the garlic in this. Piece of chicken, piece of the garlic. Oh, this dish is awesome. I think about the service at this place. It's exceptional. They're always here filling up your tea. Very pleasant, very nice. Very, very great service at this restaurant. Also, my lips and tongue are numb from these dandan noodles or Szechuan peppercorns. A lot of fun. Oh, and incidentally, we're in here, but the place is full. But Paul is like the only white person here which is pretty funny because there's a lot of white tourists in Singapore, but not this restaurant apparently. Look at this last piece of cha siu. It just glistens. Oh, this is so good. That's not the hottest dish I've ever had. No, not even close. Mm. Ah, final sip of tea. So this is actual bird's nest, but it's seventy-eight dollars. This is the dessert menu. There's this one too, coconut currency. Oh, that's a little less. That has bird's nests too. Yeah, but that's only thirty-eight dollars. Oh, it's beautiful. They look like they're little grapes in there. There's always room for dessert. Oh, I get that. Okay, we've had this multiple times in multiple countries, including twice today. And including twice today. So let's try this now. So what do you think of it? I don't taste a lot of pomelo, but. Like, I think it's really good. I think the other one had the coconut base, and I think I wasn't as fond of that. I like this better. It's nice and light. It's rich. Mm. It needs more sa um, pomelo in it, though. The sago pearls are nice and glutinous and chewy. Oh, it's got a nice mango flavor to it. Is it the best I've ever had? Is it like a lime, or...? I think it's lime. I'm not as into it. I like it. I'm surprised that here it's a little bit sour. All right, I feel like I'm in the movie Crazy Rich Asians because there are a lot of Asians in here and I think they have a lot of money. That was actually a really good price. Yeah, it was. 175, I was expecting to be over 200, especially with the one order of Wagyu. And we're completely full. And yeah, we're stuffed. Yeah. Couldn't even eat their, all the noodles. No. But we ate all the meat though. <laughs> I think I just photobombed the wedding a couple times as the photographer was taking pictures. <laughs> you should go sign the wedding book. <laughs> All right, it's a holiday here in Singapore today. It's the Festival of Lights holiday for Hindus, I believe. Today we're planning out our day, but for supper, we already know what we're gonna do. We're gonna hit the line at the Shangri-La Hotel, a buffet that looks pretty cool. It looks pretty comprehensive and large. 
Who doesn't love a good buffet? So they got a bunch of stuff there for must tries. Lobsters, mussels, scallops, lamb, custard puff, all kinds of good stuff. The atmosphere is, uh, looks kind of snazzy. Dress code, casual. Uh, my favorite type of dress. Okay, so we've decided, I think today we're just gonna do some touristy stuff down at Gardens by the Bay, kind of explore that area, because we haven't yet. We're spending most of our time in hawker centers and eating really so far. And their easy card is Star Wars themed. <laughs> dum, 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 dum. All right, another humid day in Singapore. We're making our way down to the touristy area. Man, the escalators move fast here. They like throw you off. All right, we just completed the walk completely around Marina Bays, and now we're gonna make our way over to Gardens by the Bay. We're gonna make our way over there afterwards. <laughs> Every city seems to have one of these big wheels. Ooh, you can feel it sway a little. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, you wouldn't want to fall into that. All right, so we just finished up at Cloud Forest and the Flower Dome. Flower dome, not bad. Kind of cool to see flowers all from all around the world and plants and trees and all that good stuff. But I would say the cloud forest is a must do. I'm just gonna head back over to Marina Bay Sands. I don't know, grab a drink and then head for supper tonight. We got a buffet to eat. We're on our way to the Shangri-La Hotel, which is where the line buffet restaurant is. We're in a nice part of town, it's very quiet. But boy, it is definitely out there. It's a little more remote. We just walked a kilometer uh, off the blue line of the MRT station to get to the Shangri-La. We could have took a grab, but our, our reservation isn't until 6.30, so we had some time to kill. And it's not raining. And it's not raining. Oh yeah, you gotta love the noodle bar. And they make everything fresh that you can see too. You can see all the stations. Oh, Yorkshire puddings. Thank you. That's great. Thank you. All right, so far there is a ton of stuff here. But I only grabbed a few little items just to try them out first. I want to be able to sample a bunch of different things. So I got duck, some chicken, some curry, some Thai vegetables, Thai noodle. 
piece of naan bread, but I'm gonna go get something from the noodle bar. Didn't take a Yorkshire pudding, they're right at the other. How about if I share it with you? Yeah, I have a little piece of the Yorkshire pudding. Oh my God, Andrew, I'm happy. This is good. This place is quiet too, so it's nice. Pine's kind of chicken. Oh, it's moist, you could tell. It's springy, it's juicy. Oh, that's great. Try some of these greens. Good, solid, Thai noodles. Yeah, those are good. A bit of heat to them too. The duck. Too bad, it's been sitting out so the skin isn't gonna be super crispy. Let's see what the meat's like. Pretty good, a little bit dry. Could just use a little sauce. But for the breast of the duck, that's really good. So Paula got a piece of the Yorkshire pudding. It's crispy and bouncy. Someone's dragging a chair. Uh, what types do you have? Chicken? chicken, seafood, and laksa. I'll have the chicken. Chicken, huh? Thank you. All right, time to dig into this noodle soup. Boy, the service here is excellent. I was trying to find one of these spoons. I got up and someone came over immediately. First off, try the broth. Chicken broth, not bad. See these noodles. Al dente. They could work on their noodle game a bit, I think. I think I'm gonna get some seafood and some calamari now. Check this out. I just noticed they put a hot dog in it. Vienna sausage. All right, after having a bunch of the noodle, I re revised my assessment. It's pretty delicious. Not super bold in flavor, but very subtle, but very, very nice. Now, how was the lamb overall the earlier? I got a big baby, but it could be because it's just lamb. And I didn't have a lot of sauce on it, so. So I got some fish. This is whatever the catch of the day is. Some cha more cha siu, or I actually didn't get any cha siu last time. Spicy Thai chicken, some calamari, and a king crab, part of a leg. This is just a sampler. Gotta see what things are like before I really dig in. It's the grilled or steamed fish, or I mean, it's grilled or something. It's pretty good. I'm not sure what it is, like a sea ream or bream. I think I'm just making up a word there. Mm. The cha siu is really good. I'll get more of that calamari. Oh, calamari's good. Not chewy, crispy. Seafood's really fresh, but I don't eat a lot of seafood. I'll tell you, if you like crab, king crab, you get your money's worth on that for sure. And all the oysters and seafood, definitely really great value. Very fresh. Mango pudding's good. I started hitting the desserts. It's double steamed, so they steam it inside of a bamboo basket. Herby chicken noodle soup. Herby chicken soup. Very intense flavor because it's cooked for a really long time. Mm, just like mom makes. It takes me back to my childhood. I think it tastes the way it's supposed to, but not my favorite. Very herby. Chinese herby. Oh look, we got a little visitor outside. All right, dessert course. I got something that doesn't belong. A crab leg <laughs> and a Brussels sprout. And the rice. What? And the rice. Oh, and the rice, but I got coconut, a coconut tart, some type of chocolate mousse cake, uh, a cream puff with chocolate that Paula said was delicious. This mango pudding is delicious. I already had one of those. Chocolate thing. It's dark chocolate. It's nice. dark chocolate. Oh. That's the best thing on the menu, or on the whole buffet. It's got great texture, it's crunchy pearls, mm -hmm. the custard or the uh, cream puff or the cream inside is really good. Yeah, that's a hit. I'm getting another one, maybe two. Not bad, there's cake on the bottom of it. I wouldn't get that again. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. You can blow it out. We said it was our 10th anniversary when you sign up online and they gave us a cake. I don't know how we're gonna eat this cake. Only problem is, I don't think I have room to eat that. 
and there's something else I want to eat. <laughs> yeah, we'll try it. Oh, this cake is so good. It tastes really good in that cream too. Oh, does it? All right, I'll mix it in with this. Oh man, my plate looks like a disaster. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Okay, we just got done at the Line Restaurant Buffet located at the Shangri-La Hotel which I should mention that is a very swanky hotel. They actually have a suite that costs $10,000 per night. So that gives you an idea of the hotel. But, so the restaurant. The restaurant itself is very nice, really great variety of food, and the comprehensiveness of the buffet is enormous. There is a lot of different foods to choose from. There's like Thai, sushi, Western food, which is they grouped a bunch of them together. A salad bar, Chinese obviously. There's a noodle bar. There's actually a tandoori station where they make uh, fresh naan bread and a whole bunch of different curries. And of course, a great seafood selection, fresh seafood selection, including oysters, king crab, and of course, a dessert bar. Now, the quality. The quality of the food, all the ingredients are top notch. But the food itself, we got there when it first opened and the food was pretty good, but it is a buffet. So if it sits under the heat lamp after a while, it does dry out a little. It's not gonna be as fresh as when they freshly make it. Having said that, they do have 18, I think, different chefs manning all the different stations, cooking the Indian, cooking the Chinese. They're just there refilling stuff when it runs out. But again, it is a buffet. So you're not gonna get everything freshly made all the time. Now the cost, it's $80 per person and you can get a 15% discount if you book online. I would say it is worth it if you really like a good buffet because a buffet, you just get a great selection. If you go with a bunch of people, everyone's gonna be able to find something that they like to eat. So that's a really great plus. The dessert bar, that was the standout item. The desserts were awesome. The chocolate cake was delicious, the mango pudding was delicious. Um, just about every dessert that I tried was outstanding, just really tasty. Now, I would say if you like seafood, you will get your money's worth there, for sure. So anyways, that's kind of just, if you like a buffet, I'd recommend it. Go check it out if you're in Singapore. All right, that's it for this video. I'll probably post another travel food vlog of Singapore in the future. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Bye.